Hello, this is Lauren from Bold Notion Quilting. I am working on kind of a whole cloth sampler right now and I'm doing a neat geometric shape. It's been um, quite popular in like the Zen Doodle coloring book, so I'm doing it in the middle of my uh, quilt here. thought I'd share it with you, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm just following my blue lines that I set up in the middle here until I've made my square. So this is my square that I'm working with. I'm going to go ahead and clip my threads because I don't like them anywhere in the way. And it's a very simple uh, design, as you can tell, this is a little more rectangular than it is um, full on square. And I'm just going to um, come in about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch until I reach the middle. Here we go. So before I start, I was just about to start. Before I start, keep in mind that when you have your ruler, your um, foot is going to go a half in, is going to go a quarter inch either way. So if I put my ruler at about half an inch, it's going to go in a quarter of an inch. So I'm just kind of eyeballing a half an inch right here. Stop. And since I'm doing a little more than a quarter inch. And I'm back on the other side, so keep in mind right here, if you can see it, it's going to come in more when I get my needle to the end. So I'm giving a little bit of extra space. And you started making um, angles, so you got to stop not on the line, but on the previous line that you made. I'm just guessing here, if I wanted it to be exact, I would have wrote, written down, you know, dots, lines to follow. You notice I'm stopping every time because I'm nervous I'm going to go past my lines and I really don't want to. Sorry if this video is going to take... A little bit of time. I don't want to go too fast and go past. So when you're coming on this side, make sure you leave the right around the room because my needle's going to stop right about there. And you stop on the previous line that you made. Keep going. Try to get on that line because that's really going to be what creates the illusion for you that I'm going for. to have this kind of close in at the same point. Oh man, I would have done what I just did and make my uh, 
make my little fans on the longer side wider and make my fans on the shorter side slimmer because then they would come into the middle in like a square. Almost done. Close to the end here. And I get to the end, and I'm just gonna do a couple controlled tacking stitches. And this is what you're going for. It's kind of like a swirl in like a geometric thing hope you've enjoyed thank you please visit my uh, facebook page bold notion quilting if you want to see some more tips and tricks and videos as i'm working on getting this whole cloth quilt made thank you so much Bye bye